All right, guys, how you doing? This is the Mom with Total Justice Gaming, and we are here with a revised Osmodi deck profile, clutch type point two v three. All right, so our buddy has changed from last time. It is now uh, Teacher Osmodi. Um, we spoke with OB from Team Plays for Days when they came down for our shop challenge, and um, we talked about it. And this is going to be the better buddy, just because it's more versatile. Um, it can destroy a monster and an item, and it triggers some of your spells by sending stuff back to your hand. So let's get into it. Of course, we start off with four of the buddy, which is Teacher Favorite Osmodi. He's a 5 2 1, pay two, spend a card back to your hand. If you, when it enters the field, destroy a monster. Then, if you have three other 72 pillar attributed cards on the board, then you can destroy another card. Um, it's really strong because it can't get rid of items that are, are a problem. You know, it can't get rid of Dragon Force items, unfortunately, but it, it can blow up, transformate stuff they're transformed into. Um, the fact that you can destroy a monster that's on the board is just really strong just for paying to and spinning back, which in this deck is not a big hefty cost. Next, we play uh, three uh, Dance Osmodis. Uh, what can I say about this pay gauge when it enters the field you draw a card 6-2-1 it can pretty much hit over almost everything in the game nowadays um, he's just basically our heavy hitter for the deck as of right now great card we, next we play two inverse second demon omni osmodi this is a pay two um, it's got 50,000 attack 10,000 uh, defense penetrate of three life link of two um, this card is really strong because when it's destroyed, you, you reveal the top three and you get to call as many cards as you want to without paying the call call. So you get to pay the call a teacher for free, pay play dance on somebody for free. Uh, really strong card, uh, staple in a lot of decks nowadays. Next is three of art and body duplication on somebody. He's a two one. He's a two two one. Uh, he has a counter saying during my turn I can sack him off to call a card without somebody from the drop so I'm not paying his call calls. So again, teacher, dance, inverse. Uh, not much to say about this. Uh, when me and Opie were talking, we were, uh, said that maybe we want our buddy to be something uh, not one that has two crit so that uh, it can all, we can always have a card that hits for two crits. So it was either uh, him or the teacher and I like the teacher more so I chose the teacher over him. Uh, next is three street racer Eligos. Um, this is basically kind of like our shield for the deck. Uh, he's a one two one. So that's not that good. Crit two is still good though in case open center. Um, you pay a life. You can call him to the center and redirect the attack to him. And then when you destroy, you can pay a life to add him back to hand. So you just basically recycle the him as a defense. So like for things that say you can't nullify like Bobber Smasher or the Jacks, this is just a replacement. So since it's not nullifying, it's like him be destroyed. Next is a new addition to the deck, which is Follower Gap. He becomes a size zero if you have a size three on the board, but his the main reason we play him is because you can pay two life to add any card that has seven to play an attribute. So you can search out set spells, the uh, new item we play, or one of our seven to pillar monsters that we need. It just helps us fill in the missing pieces that we're missing for the deck to be better. Next is our new Asmodai. He is the passionate teacher Asmodai. He is paid pay gauge, put one card from my hand into his soul. He gets soul guard and he gets all seven people of monsters plus two. So this again kind of fixes to make sure that all our cards hit for the magic numbers almost, which in buddy fight in my opinion the magic number is five because that's the usually where the defense for the better cards start at. So he'll become a five, he'll become a three, uh, he'll become a five, or I'm sorry, he'll become a four. 52, 8, 7. It just makes all our cards be able to hit stronger numbers. We play one Let's Play Osmodi. He lets us gain a life when he enters the field if we have an Osmodi in the drop zone. Uh, he's a 5 1 1. Nothing much to say about him. Uh, next is one of my favorite cards is going to be the Boy Transformation Osmodi. He is basically Oops, which is the spell in Magic World that you pay to gauge to spin any card back to the hand. Well, he does the same except we just have to discard one card so we can get rid of again items that we can bounce, uh, items, monsters that we don't want on board. Yeah, it's a real strong card. And next is a new card we play, which is. Uh, I'm sorry about that, y'all. I picked up a stack in the wrong way. Uh, next, we play, and we play one uh, championship wrestler. Off the he is basically just for that turn where we just need to rid the board of everything. We disc you can discard as many cards as you want to, to destroy anything on the board. And he has double attack as a 9 2 1. 
Uh, if you hit him off the death, death out tomorrow night, you can just basically mess up the opponent's turn and get rid of their board. This card is just a really strong tech card. I like it a lot. Uh, next, we play two uh, to Seaman Shacks. Uh, he's a 4 1 1. When he enters the board, if I have at least two other 72 pillar attributes, I get to draw a card and just hand advantage. Not much else to say about this card. And next, now is the new item we play his Sorcery Book, uh, Goleta. So this is a new tech card that we, uh, from people that we've talked to, play. It's uh, you can attack even if it's a monster in the center. Um, if I have three or more other 72 player attributes, he gets plus two and a crit. So he attacks for five with uh, two crit. So he, <coughs> sorry about that. So he can he can attack with. So if you have uh, inverse omni modi in the center or just any kind of card, you can attack even from the, the back. So it just keeps us are going. And next is our impacts. Now that we played this one, it's called Gatling Hardcore. You pay three. I can only cast if I have a Sentry Pillar Monster on my field. Um, and it deals one damage, then it deals an extra damage for every 72 pillars on the field. So, this card is really good, and we're going to come back to it after we get through the rest of it because we're going to show some plays that we can do with this. So, we're going to come back on this. Uh, next is two great spells Saturday Night Devil Fever. Pay two, pay a life. Um, I can call as many size 170 pillars from the drop zone uh, without having to pay their call call. So like the teacher would be free um, and the passion teacher would be free. And then I shuffle my whole deck back into, I mean, I shuffle my, shuffle my drop zone back into my deck. So basically we reset. Uh, three good to go. Uh, return a size one or less. <coughs> Sorry about that. One size or less from the field to the owner's hand and then I gain a life. So just interrupting attacks, getting rid of size ones while they're attacking us. I will play three of the Emergency War Neverland. It's a set spell that says when a card on the field is returned to the hand, whether it be an item, a spell, a monster, we gain a life. Two Solomon Great Barriers. It turns all 72 pillars that are size two. Normally it's size ones. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm not a value right now. Um, and then Barkin Solomon. Uh, the, when the first time your opponent's hand increases outside of his charge and draw, uh, he discards the card. <laughs> so with these, and including the item, so optimally, with the impact on the board, if we impact, let's say we have one of each on the board, and we have the item, and we have a full field. So that's already three damage. That's already uh, one initially. So you go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's initially, in a perfect world, that would be eight damage from this, this uh, impact, which is a game changer. This card is just really strong in this deck just because everything is 72 pillars, so it triggers with everything. <laughs> He's dying, folks. That last match with uh, Dark Rose killed him. And I feel like I'm dying. Okay. We play three never say never. So this gets us two gauge, and then if we have no hand when we cast it, we get to draw two. So again, just gauge engine and draw engine if it comes to it. We play four matches with Goodbye. This is the Valentine promo with Susa High on it. Um, just return a size two or lower to the hand. Just triggers our set spells and just uh, messes up our opponent's turns. And finally, nice one. We play one of these because our friend Taryn from the trail pulled a reverse hollow, so we decided to play one reverse hollow. Just pay one, draw two. In my opinion, but if I drawing cards outside of a limit is really good. So like, you know, most cards say you have to be a six life, five life. Anything that lets you draw early on is such a strong card. Like uh, the Zeta card that lets you draw two when you're in the final phase, the one where you have to discard an impact monster to draw two, gain a gauge. Just anything that lets you draw early on is really strong in my opinion. And guys, that is the deck profile from the Mamba that is dying of something. And we hope that you like it. And uh, just always like and subscribe, please. And uh, any questions, please uh, don't feel uh, feel free to comment on the pay, on the video. Thank you, guys. See you later. <laughs>